Hello and welcome to Suzuka TCR Endurance Race. For this race, I have brought back the Link because it's been such a long time since we've driven it and it does seem a very competitive car. No idea what the best tyre strategy is, so I'm going to just put hard tyres on and hope for the best. I've also decorated this car to make it look absolutely spot on for this race as well. We are going to start off in P6 position, didn't qualify, we'll just see where we was all at. There's not many people in this race surprisingly, but we do have variety. We have a Mercedes up in front, two Audis, a couple of NGs, a Honda Civic and a Peugeot that is behind us right now. Peugeot had an absolutely great start off the line, coming up to my right side. I'm going to barrier it over on the left, get a better run into this first corner. And give the Peugeot on my right side a little bit of room. I can see him just there in the mirror poking their way through. But ultimately don't make it. Come around this corner now. The Batman 2K3 and Brad Bay have a little bit of contact going on. It's a little bit scrappy at the first part of the race. You see the black car. I think it's a Honda Civic as well. Went off track as everybody's trying to find a place in this race. Coming around here now, that's the two Audis off and into the uh, gravel right now. Just need to pass this Honda Civic, Cops BW on my right hand side. They are a little bit twitchy, I'm getting a bit nervous on what their intentions are, if they know I am around. Break into this corner, giving them a bit of space, giving them too much space right now. But it's better than having contact, I guess. You know, I don't like having the contact because someone's going to lose out to the penalty system and yeah it's just not worth it rather go off track and then claw back the time than lose um or have contact be punted off the track which usually end up worse off anyway i digress catching up to the purge up in front they are only 0.9 seconds away so i'm not in the slipstream right now but we're gonna have to try and claw that back the link is quite good at clawing back a little bit of pace where the purge i think is a little bit slower than the link i'm not too sure i've not driven that purge yet but from what I've been told about it, it handles absolutely brilliantly. What it lacks on is speed department. Anyway, you see the Mercedes is having a good lead up in front. Kanye East 3284. I love that name. It's brilliant. Anyway, yeah, the three seconds ahead right now. XJT95I is 0.7 seconds away. So I'm in the slipstream, breaking down here, cutting that grass corner. Round the outside and looking out for the 100 meter board up in front. Hard on the brakes down to second gear. Locking up a little bit there. But we do hold on to it quite well. Come around the other side. And catching up to the Honda Civic up in front. To be fair that guy in the Honda Civic is a very quick driver. Coming up P2 and leaving me behind a little bit. But I am in the slipstream so I'm going to try and reel them in. As we start lap 2, looking out on the left hand side for just before the 50 board, there it is, breaking down the 4th gear, coasting it in and breaking down the 3rd gear. On the it goes in a little bit hot but holds on to it. I have a little bit of a slide and I don't get the best of exits. Coming through here, 3rd gear coasting it through, feathering that throttle to keep the car pointed the way I want it to be and not carrying too much speed. You're looking about 75 to 80 through these corners. As we're going round right now, Honda Civic goes a little bit slow, giving a little bit of a nudge. Luckily enough, there was no contact that Forza managed to pick up, so they may have not felt it, but again, it's not intentional. Looking up the inside, we're trying to make that move again this time, and also going to see if I can go into the gravel again, because why not? <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I'm a sucker for punishment. Why not do it twice over? Thankfully, the Peugeot backs out and lets me take that position again and try to catch up. I give him a little shake of the wheel to say thank you because I don't have the buttons to say thanks. Every time I press the button on the D-pad on my steering wheel, it just says sorry. So, um, I can't have any other button working on it. Don't know why. It's uh, a weird issue. So, I don't bother using it. Shake of the wheel to say thanks. I think that's more than enough braking just after the 50 100 board sorry down to third gear coming through this corner this is where i struggle a little bit in this section of the track because the second part of this corner is much tighter and you are still turning so the tap of the brakes a little bit can unsettle the car somewhat going down this back straight now 1.1 second away from the car in front but 4.6 seconds away from Kanye east which is quite a chunk to try and find back 
A lot of it is down to my mistakes looking at the gravel pit, trying to make my own little castle in there. I did it twice and it didn't work. Hopefully, on this third lap, I don't go into that same mistake again. I've got to try and do my best to get past this Honda Civic. And then I can start reeling in Kanye Yeast up in front. You see the Honda's trying to break the toe up in front. I am not letting them get away that easy. We do have a large gap from the car behind. Brad Bay is 1.8 seconds away. I'm going to go up the inside of this corner now. Break a little bit earlier. Take the tighter line a little bit slower. But you see the Honda Civic has backed off. Thus, that corner is mine. Going around here, about 90 miles per hour, letting off. And then you're pretty much on and off the throttle to keep the car rotating as well as keeping the speed up going through these S's right now. We do have quite a good lead from Cops BW behind. And thankfully, because we passed them through the S's, we will not go and fall victim to this gravel trap again. Or will we? You know... It's going to be our luck right now. Looking out here, down with the brakes, over the curb we go. And yes, we made it. We survived it. I can actually turn a corner and not visit the gravel. Lap 5, we do catch up to Kanye East up in front. They're not too far away right now. 2.4 seconds as we're breaking into this corner. Down the second gear and coming through. We do have quite a lead from Cops at BW and the Honda Civic with a 3.6 seconds. Uh, 3.7 again uh, from behind they did manage to get a fair few penalties and so did Kanye East up in front luckily enough I didn't manage to find any more myself as we're breaking down into this corner third gear coming around here and then touch on the brakes again and then rubbing that curb and left and side accelerate out more out of the corner than I did probably accelerate a little bit earlier and then down this back straight this is where I'm going to make a bit of time. Kanye East went gardening quickly for a moment. But hopefully with those little mistakes, we can reel them in. Applying that pressure, although from a distance, they can see the time coming down. And by seeing the time coming down, it motivates them to push a little bit harder. And that's when mistakes are made. Breaking down the second gear right now. Could have clipped the apex on my right side. Would have been a little bit quicker. Coming through here over the curb. Accelerating out the other side. 1.9 seconds away right now as we cross over the start and finish line. I'll tell you what's nice to see though, a Mercedes actually in P1 and being very competitive. That car is driven very well and by a very good driver right now. I've got to say because really that Mercedes is like a diamond in the rough, I have to say. It is a very good car in the midsection and corners like this in a race where there's a lot of cornering and it's more about keeping the speed up mid corners and things like that that mercedes is brilliant at it does lack in the power department and it could just do with a few extra horses and it'd be very competitive as in catching up to kanye east right now in the link again it could be a lot down to the tuning setup and things like that i create my own tuning setup for this link so their setup might be better but again the link is a little bit quicker i do break in this corner and ultimately let them take that position back because I don't fancy going gravel hunting again and losing two or three seconds. I'd rather surrender and lose a position and as you can see right now, 0.5 seconds away from me. I'd rather have that and then try reeling back in somewhere else on the track than go off track and lose two or three seconds and I've got to try and find that again. The great thing about this link though is the Mercedes is very hard on tyres. I found that out hot the hard way at Maple Valley whereas the link does seem to look after its tires much more the Mercedes does defend that position I do give them a little bit of a nudge and we came together so I let them take that position back I don't want them thinking I am ramming or cutting them in we stay moved over and braked and I was just there just a little bit of touching right now going up the inside trying to make that move work Looking where they are, going to swing it right over now and then have a better angle into this corner. Dab of the brakes, 121, 125 through there. And you can see a bit of aero wash managed to throw that Mercedes out quite far. Over the curb we go and there we go. That is that position gained. Now it's just a case of holding on to that position. I'm not losing it by pushing myself too hard. Oh, they've gone into the pits. Well, there we go. We're going to skip the pits for another lap. I can get away with these. I'm almost halfway there. 
I'm going to see if I can get another lap or maybe two out of them. And then I have that bit of an advantage to them. Coming up to the end of lap eight, I'm going to go into the pits now. I'd rather take my chances and have one lap over the other car. Because I do plan on going hard tyre, hard tyre, the medium tyres. That is my strategy. But as we are in the pits right now, I would like to take a moment to thank our channel members, which is Andy Good, Jeffrey Anderson, DMC Motorsport, and Phoenix Aster. Thank you for supporting the channel, guys. The car has just gone past me in my ear. If you're enjoying what you're seeing here right now, why not hit that subscribe button? It massively helps out the channel, and we're not far away from that 1,000 marker, so let's smash it. Back to the race. Coming out the pits, we are Brad Boyers in front. We do have Kanye East really reeling his in right now. 2.2 seconds away, so that one extra lap, I managed to find a few seconds and keep them at bay. Now, I have to try and keep them at bay. Try and also catch up to Brad Bay up in front. There's a lot of bays in that one sentence. Maybe we should open our own beach shop. Anyway, uh, that was a terrible joke. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Coming up round this corner, Brad Bay does have a 2.9 second penalty. So if we do manage to catch up to them, it's not always about overtaking. If I can keep within that 2.9 seconds, we'll also have that position gained. Coming round this corner now, down with the brakes, up into third gear, accelerating out the other side, hard on the brakes, down to second gear, again cutting that corner to the outer part of the track, accelerating out the other side. Kanye East is catching up. They're reeling me in. I've got to try and push a bit harder and be a bit more consistent. And this is what I love about these endurance races because it forces you to be far more consistent instead of just yeeting it into every corner and hoping for the best. And this is where I also need to improve on is consistency. Pretty much knowing my braking points on point, doing the same amount of braking pressure, same amount of turning angle, and really keeping this car as smooth as possible and everything as similar as possible it's so easier said than done of course but it's something i am happily working upon and this is what i love about these endurance races because it does force you to be in that mindset it's not all about sending it in the first few laps and winning the race it's about being mindful of the whole race we have an hour of this and we have to really be consistent and fast breaking at the 100 meter board click that curb on the right cut this curb on the left you can really go over that curb there's a lot of track limit to use right there and come around the other side 12 second brad bay must be is in the pits there we go absolutely lovely they do have one lap advantage on me on tires right now which is it's okay i'd rather them not have an advantage i'd rather all obviously have the advantage myself but Kanye East is still two seconds away so we just got to hold on to that right now as we're coming through the S's again for the start of lap 10. Lap 12 is where things took a different turn. Kanye East managed to get in front as a little bit sloppy through these last few corners and they managed to claw back a good bit of time. What surprised me though is as you can see on the map there is a car ahead now that means because if i'm kanye east is p1 and p2 that is a car we are about to lap but what really shocked me about this was <laughs> it was totally unexpected i expected the car to ghost out the car does not ghost out on the endurance races rather stay in the full figure and you have to actually get past them which i actually quite like that idea to be fair as we're coming down here into this corner, breaking that 200 meter board, I break a little bit earlier. Over the curb we go on the right, over the curb we go on the left, and there you go. You can see the car just up in front right now. As you see, Kanye East up in front is pushing themselves very hard. And my idea now is not to overtake and push as well. My idea is to keep the pressure on and actually slower down my lap time, thus making my tyres last longer and making them up in front eat through their tyres so they have to pit earlier. That's my thinking right now and hopefully that kind of strategy works. As we're coming through here, you can see the car up in front and they are not blanking out. It really did throw me because I'm sitting there going, why isn't that car um, ghosting? But it turns out you actually have to lap them. 
which is kind of nice to an extent as they do in all fairness keep to the right hand side and let us get past so thank you very much there sir much much appreciated because very rare do you see events like that happen breaking into this corner now down the second gear over the curb we go and accelerating out the other side lap 15 and we are going to try and make a move on Kanye east up in front it's got to a point where in defense they are slowing me down now i can see our lap times falling and falling and that is making brad bay catch up in behind us so i don't want that to happen so i've got to try and get past clearly their tires are goosed and my tires are almost there but thankfully to tire preservation i have a bit more life left in me and i do plan on keeping it going from around this corner now you can see i am creating quite the lead from them right now one second away which does show in just two corners how much they was holding me back and I should have really overtaken earlier. They do have a 3.3 second penalty. And Brad Bay does have a 4.3 second penalty. I did manage to find a few more. But there were only temps. I have a 0.8 second penalty right now. Breaking that 100 meter board down the second gear. Over the curb we go. And that's how the cookie crumbles. Right 2.7, 2.8 seconds away right now. I've got to really push it through this lap get away from them so when i go into the pits and come out the other side i don't have to try and overtake them again i've got to bear that one in mind as i'm sending it down here helicopter getting a great view of me coming through breaking just before the 50 ball down the fourth gear coming in nice and hot breaking down the third gear turning in could have gone a little bit faster but that was actually quite a good corner we are one tenth up on our best up to now which is always a good sign to see. You always want it in green or at least be around that. We did lose a half a tenth though. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. But the tyres are wearing, so I am going to be slower. Again, Forza did change the way the tyres are worn. It's not a light switch anymore. It's an actual linear progression through the tyre wear, which is quite nice. It should be like that to start with. And I can't see why they got it so wrong. Breaking down the fourth gear, over the curb we go, and then breaking hard down the second gear, turning over the curb we go, accelerating out the other side, under the bridge, keeping to your left hand side, cutting that corner. As soon as the curb stops, that's where you want to be hard on the brakes down the second gear and turning in for this corner. Again, this corner can really catch you out because if you don't break at the right time, you will overshoot it and it will absolutely destroy your lap time. Coming to the end of lap 17, so I pushed it for one more lap on these tyres. You can see I have minor wear on the front. Brad Bay is 10.9 seconds away, and Kanye East is 34 seconds away. So hopefully, the time I have gained does reflect on my pit exit. Brad Bay chose not to pit again, so they are quite a lead ahead of us right now. 14 seconds. But Kanye East, although the Forza is trying to recalculate it because it's, um, yeah, I can't see why it just doesn't calculate it properly. But we do have a substantial lead. 8.3 seconds for them right now. Absolutely brilliant. Brad Bay is going to have to pit in the next lap or two because they are running the Audi. And I would thought the Audi wasn't that good on tyres maybe the Audi is better on tyres let me know down in the comments below if the Audi is better than the link on tyres thus that's why that person can stay out for far longer because they do seem to manage to gain a lap or at least two upon what I can do with these tyres they've definitely on hard tyres anyway but yeah let me know down below Brad Bay pitted at the end of lap 18 and I'm going to have to pit on this lap. Now, I chose to keep these tyres a little bit longer. I'm going to pit and go into medium tyres because they're certainly not going to finish the race. I am just about to hit minor wear. And there's no way I'm going to be able to get another two-ish laps out of these tyres. I really don't think so. So my strategy is because I have a substantial lead from Kanye East behind. And hopefully, Brad Bay may or may not pit at the end of this lap. As I go squirrely into this corner right now, sending it over the grass. Um, my idea is if I'm going to be on medium tyres, if they choose not to pit, they're going to be absolutely wrecked at the end of the race and I can pretty much reel them back in. That is the plan. 
Whether it works or not is a totally different matter. Coming out the other side, looking at my livery is a bit dirty, but I do think the livery looks great. If you like the livery as well, hit that like button and let me know. Coming out of the pits, Brad Bay does have quite the lead. Nine seconds right now, but we do have a huge lead from Kanye East of a 40 second lead right now. Coming down a little bit as Forza is doing this recalculating moment because it doesn't calculate in the pits. Uh, really calculating it down now. <laughs> wow, it was 40 seconds. Now it's down to 18, 17, 18 seconds. All right, now you're satisfied. Okay. 8.8 .8 seconds away from Brad Bay up in front. So I've really, on these medium tires, got to get the hammer down, really maximize these, and try and catch them up in front. Easier said than done. 8.6 seconds. I mean, in reality, I only have to find four and a half seconds ish because of their penalty. So if I can find that, I'll be still happy with myself. I do wonder though if they are going to go in the pits at the end of this lap and go with softs. Because their tyres, really, I don't think they're going to be able to last. Start of our final lap, Brad Bay is 6.4 seconds away. Kanye East is 23 seconds away. And surprisingly, my tyres lasted a lot longer. So maybe I should have gone to the pits a little bit earlier. Hmm. That is a thought for another day and another race. Coming through here, I can see them up in front. I've really got to try and push it. Because their tyres have got to be dead. I, must, I know I say this a lot. But they really have to be. There's no way that that Audi could do a two-stop method like that and hold it. Unless the whole game plan for the whole race was tyre saving. That's why they stayed back from me and uh, Kanye East behind. Thus, them saving the tyres, do a two-pit stop strategy, and they're 30 seconds up. Roughly 30 seconds. I'm not too sure how long the pit stop takes. But you give it a rough 30 seconds... That is a huge amount of time saved by not pitting. Coming around here now, 6.1 seconds away. I've just got to find two and a half seconds. 5.8, 5 points. Yep, yeah, well, we nearly went to 5.7. There it is, 5.7. The horrible part of this is that this last section of the track is straight. And the Audi is quicker than the Link. 5.6 seconds away right now. Looking at the 100 board, breaking down the third gear, turning in, trying to quickly get through this last section. 5.5 seconds. Coming around this corner, 5.3. Obviously, their tyres are absolutely wrecked. Problem is, we have this long straight up in front of us. Only a few more corners to go. And it's going to be so hard to find another two or three seconds. Unless they are, you know, I'm looking, they go off track. Coming through the section now, dab of the brakes, 130 miles per hour, sending it out the outside, 5.4 seconds, breaking the 100 meter board, down the second gear, turning in, really trying to maximize this track limits right now, claw those few temps, 5.1, 5 seconds away, 4.9, oh, 4.8, come on, it's just not enough, just not enough, oh, no way. P2 overall, cannot grumble at that, absolutely brilliant, and to be fair, me and Brad, uh, Brad Bay who started messaging each other at the end of the race, I could only see credit where credit's due, and we, we both had the same idea because we both messaged each other at the same time. Thank you very much Brad Bay, brilliant race and very well played tactic at the end. Let me know if you see this video down in the comment how your tyres were looking at the end of that race. Thank you all for watching, see you all next time, goodbye.